Okay, so when it comes to these type of problems, I want you to make sure that you see this 90. The trigonometry functions that we're going to use must have that angle, okay, for these type of trigonometry, very basic trig functions. All right, so once you have that, once you see that, then trigonometry can be used if you are finding, uh, if you need to find an angle, right? Uh, in this case, that's what we're having to find. Every one of these problems, you're having to find the angle. So trigonometry is going to be used. And I want you to use this acronym um, called SOHCAHTOA, okay? Where S-O-H, okay? C-A-H, T-O-A. Now, this stands for sine is equal to sine times the variable in this case we're gonna let this be X okay and we have to use the degree symbol now so sine is X degrees is equal to the opposite over the hypotenuse alright this one is cosine is equal to adjacent over the hypotenuse and then tangent is equal to opposite over adjacent. So now what I want you to do is we're gonna use all three of these sides. We're gonna set up each trig function, okay? So you get a hang of this. This is the referenced angle, okay? So when you have the referenced angle, this side is opposite, all right? So I want you to point to that. Okay, let's get, this is our opposite side. Now you already know that when you have your 90, this side is your hypotenuse, okay? That's your H. If you'll get in the habit of, no, of locating those two, then you don't, there's no guesswork into what this side is. This is our A, okay? Now, uh, I'm gonna have a formula chart for you and I want you to look at this, okay? All right, so sine, this is a referenced angle right here, okay? All right, from this angle, this would be opposite. This is the 90, so that's the hypotenuse. All right, so I'll, we'll look at this, and we're going to write this formula down, okay, as we build this. So we know that S is abbreviated with S, I, N, and go ahead and put parentheses, put your angle that you're having to find or that you have here. Don't forget that degree symbol and I'll remind you how to do that uh, in the calculator coming up. And that's always gonna be O divided by H, opposite over hypotenuse, okay? All right, we're gonna do um, each trig function with these three sides, okay? This one here, a cosine is abbreviated, COS. Get your reference, get the angle that you're having to find is equal to A over H, okay? And then tan, tangent would be TAN. And then X degrees is equal to the opposite over adjacent. All right, now we know we have to find the angle, right? We already know our opposite is 64. So when I go in here, I'm going to go ahead and put, um, I'm just bringing this down. So sine x degrees is equal to 64 over 80. There's my h, right? Get in a habit of putting those three letters down. And then when you go into this this formula here, the trig function, you know where those numbers go, all right? All right, now what's nice about these triangles is that all three sides are given. So we're gonna work on all three trig functions, okay? So let's look at this one now. Bring down the cosine. X degrees is equal to adjacent, 48 over the hypotenuse. So 48 over over 80 all right and then you would just comma X okay at the end all right now the last one tangent 
x degrees is equal to opposite over adjacent, so 64 over 48. All right, now we're going to go to the calculator. And I want to show you um, the trig functions here, okay? All right. Go ahead and put this here. Now, I want you to, um, let me see if I can zoom out here for you. All right, now everybody knows that we are doing menu three one. All right, so let's do menu three one. And now I want you to press the trig button right here, okay? When you press trig button, I want you, you're only going to use the top three, okay? You're only going to use sine, cosine, and tangent, all right? So go ahead and press enter for sine, okay? Now, uh, the variable that we are finding is x. Go ahead and press x. Now, here's what I want you to do. We need the degree symbol. I want you to go right here to where it says pi, and I want you to press pi. That opens up a whole bunch of other things. The degree symbol is right below the pi, so arrow down, get your degree symbol. Notice that it must be x degrees. This is now putting the calculator into degree mode. That must be in place. If you don't have the degree, uh, you get uh, the answer in terms of radians, and we don't want that. All right, now at this point, get your equal sign, right? And uh, now we know that we are doing the sign, which is, okay, here's our fraction, right? All right, so that's going to be uh, 64 divided by 80, comma x, right? Okay. Now, we're going to do the cosine and the tangent just like that. So press menu, 3, 1. Remember where to go to get your trig, right? It's actually spelt out for you right here. So press trig, and now I want you to arrow over to cosine. Okay? Let's get cosine in here. Now, it's asking for the angle. All right, we don't know the angle. We're having to find it using cosine. So get X. Remember where the the degree symbol is down here to the left of H using the pi symbol. 